the Page Layout tool. The Page Layout tool is used to adjust margins, the space between music systems, and page size. Click on the Page Layout tool. Zoom out several times. That's Control minus on Windows, Command minus on Mac to see the entire page. The dotted line around the outer edge of the page is the default page margin. There is also a dotted line box around each music system. The left and right margins for this score look good already, so we wouldn't have to change anything. However, if you don't want System 1 to be indented, grab its upper left handle and drag to the left to match System 2. In the right margin, if you want to move both music systems in further from the page margin, click a lower right handle on one of the systems. Select All. That's Control A on Windows, Command A on Mac to highlight all of the right system handles. Click on one of the highlighted handles and drag it to the left in from the page margin. If you want to move the music down further from the top of the page to make more room for the title, click the mouse in the middle of System 1, drag it down a bit, and release. Notice that dragging a system up or down in the score also affects any other systems that follow it. If you want to make more room between the music systems, click in the middle of System 2 and drag it down. I will address more page layout topics in the instrumental and choral tutorial courses. Once you have the music positioned on the page where you want it, you can move the title and composer information into place. Zoom in several times. That's Control Plus on Windows, Command Plus on Mac to see the title information. Using the selection tool, Click on any text you wish to remove, like Subtitle and Arranger, and press Delete. Click on the title and drag it into the desired position. Move the composer name so the last letter is lined up with the edge of the music. 